Hey guys, I'm recording 3D here. I'm doing the uh, CS6 uh, animation tutorial that I said I was going to do yesterday. Or, I think it was yesterday. I've been busy. Uh, finals coming up and everything. But I took time out of my day and studying and all that stuff to do this. Alright, so basically what you're going to do, you're going to open the image that you're going to uh, to animate. So, file, open find that picture here it is you're gonna unlock that layer by double clicking and clicking OK now you're gonna go up to window select timeline and it's gonna end up like this uh, yours is probably gonna look like create video timeline you're gonna use this little down arrow and click create frame animation then you click create frame animation now what you need to do is you need to get this basketball um, off of this uh, background layer. So you're going to select the white with the magic wand tool, click backspace, and it'll bring you to the background. Hold control and press Z, and that gets rid of the lines. I come to this move tool, and you can freely move this basketball. Now, what you can do is you can create a new layer, and that layer can be a just basic white layer. Fill that with white, put the thing you want to animate on top, and go back to your move tool. Now you need the well what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the basketball smaller. I'm gonna actually undo that and I'm gonna hold Alt Shift Z. It's gonna keep it square while I scale it down. Now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply that transformation by clicking this check mark right here. And it freely moves and all that good stuff. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I have the first frame selected. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'll move it to the top right corner so it's out of the frame. Now I click this create new frame uh, button and it creates two different frames. Now with the second frame selected, you click and drag this basketball into the frame wherever you want it to hit. Since it's square, I'm going to have it hit around the middle. You can also check how far you in, how far you're in by dragging these rulers in and they usually snap to the middle but they're not oh they're snapped right there so it's at about the middle you can also drag this one in uh, snap right there so now <coughs> now you have that move this just a little bit uh, there now what you're going to do is you're going to click the first layer, hold control, select the second layer, and use this tweening tool. I'm going to add 10 frames in between just to keep the picture small. Click OK. What this did is it added frames in the middle to animate it. Now what you're going to do is you're going to select the last layer, or last um, frame, and you're going to click this duplication, duplicate frame tool. Now it duplicated that last frame, and you're going to have the ball bounce, say, out of the frame right here. Now you select the first frame, hold control, select that other frame, use the tweening tool again, click OK. Now you go back to the first frame, look at it, make sure it's going smoothly, it looks just like you want it. Perfect. Now you go to File, Save for Web. Um, save as a GIF, GIF, let's save like this, and you're going to click save, select the place to save it to, I'll save it to my desktop, save it as basketball. And then now that it's on uh, my desktop, I can open this in an internet browser. And it should play. There it is. Also, what you can do is if you want the uh, animation to play infinitely, you can go to File. Save for web, 
and let's go to looping options you can click once forever or other with other you can make it play say five times click OK save now it should play five times and it's once, twice, three times, four times, and the fifth time. And it should stop after that. See, it did. And if you go forever, file, save for web, go forever, This is a five time one. Need to open forever. And it's just going to keep going forever. And that's basically it. That's your basic animation with Photoshop. Um, this video is slightly shorter than the one for CS5, but it gets the same exact point across and it does the exact same thing. Um, be sure to comment, leave a thumbs up. Um, make sure you comment any questions you have and I'll be sure to answer those as soon as I see them. And if I don't have an answer, I'll try to look for one for you. Uh, also, subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. And thank you for watching.